soldiering on, getting in that top five run. Six laps of racing to go. They cross the start finish line. James Busher trying to hold off the 25 of Joy Logano. Patrick Sheltra back up to the third spot. Then right behind him, Justin Lofton started on the pole today. He's running fourth. And John West Townley rounding out our top five. Remember, three of these of well, the four guys running up front have had wins in the Arca Remax series. James Busher, actually the very youngest winner we ever had back at Lakeland, Florida a couple years ago. Look at the momentum Joey Logano got with that run on the outside. He laid off him to get a little bit of momentum, and boy, he got it, didn't he, Kenny? Yes, he did. Oh, oh trouble! Justin Lofton into the back of the 60. Patrick Shelton spins. Into the wall he goes. And now Kimball spins around. Oh, and a big hit on Justin, or on the 60 of Patrick Sheltra. Our sixth caution of the day comes out, and what a big hit that was from the 23 of Larry Hollenbeck. Yeah, Larry was running up in the eighth spot when they came by here last time, and boy, did he make hard contact with Patrick Shelter. The 44 with damage. The 60, that's Patrick Shelter waiting for that window net to come down. Just about took the back end off of that car. The only thing, that, the only thing I liked about what I saw there was it got hit towards the back of the car. It spun and, him and around a lot. It, yeah, not towards the... Uh, driver's door. Yeah, safety workers right out there very, very quickly. They'll go to work. Trying to attend to the 60 and Patrick Sheltra. Again, what took place was Justin Lofton was just behind Patrick Sheltra. Sheltra moved up the racetrack a bit. It looked like Justin Lofton got into the back of that car then. Sheltra slid around, made contact with the outside wall, and then coming through on the high side, that 23 of Larry Hollenbeck made additional contact to the 60 of Patrick Sheltra. We saw the damage to the back of the 44. And Frank the Kimmel came a lot of damage. Absolutely nowhere to go. Safety crews working on Larry Hollenbeck as well. A lot of debris on the racetrack. You can see it behind these, the ambulance and the safety crews. They're switching from yellow to red. Looks like they're about to put the red flag out. They're gonna send the field around. Normally they stop them over in turn two. A lot of debris everyone's ran through here too. We're hearing they're gonna stop the field in turn number one. And so the pace car stops you'll see him angle down Jim Trado I know you're down there by Kimmel's pit what's taking place they've got the uh, Roush Fenway team collection here of the uh, Yates team with the, with the uh, helmets of course of the Bernard's colors and the DeWalt team that's Matt Kenseth's crew again trying to help out they're trying the best they can to get this car out to finish the laps they're just keeping an eye on where the pace car is Bill Kimmel is making the calls as expected here as he's telling the team what to do from behind pit wall. Again, Bill's son, Will, was also in this race. We see the yellow flag still out. Phil, you brought up a good point. You, you can't work on the race car if the red flag comes out. Yeah, they're waiting for the, the rest of the field to get up there with the cars that are stopped over in turn one. Once they get there, I think, then they will display that red flag and they will make Bill Kimmel and all his guys stop working on Frank's car. You see them putting the caution flag back back away. As soon as that red flag is displayed, and there it's displayed, they'll relay that information to all the officials, and I'm sure the official will stop. There he is telling him, you can't work on the car anymore. But they can examine it and see what all they will need here. There's Bill Kimmel right there, Frank's brother, Will's father. Got to make sure he doesn't go across the wall now. Remember, no, uh, no helmet, so... They're not allowed to do that right now. You know, Frank is only being shown with 11 cars on the lead lap. So Frank right now is being shown in 10th spot. Jim Trado. What they're trying to do, guys, they're trying to get the rear frame rails up. They're dragging in the fuel cells nearly on the ground. What Bill Kimmel is directing the team to do is to put the jack stands themselves underneath the rear hoop of the frame. He said then drop the jack. So it's actually working like a powder porter power in reverse to try to jack that frame up by using the jack stands as the support 
to push that frame back up into place so the fuel cell is higher, the car is not dragging, and he may be able to complete this race. Wendy? Well, here on the sixth pit box of Justin Lofton, his crew chief, Mark Rett, is talking to Billy Venturini, crew chief for Joey Logano. They are forming an alliance and trying to work out these final four laps of this race, whether Billy and Mark, the two tr crew chiefs, can get the two drivers, Joey Logano and Justin Lofton, on the same page. They said they made an alliance before the race. They've stuck together most of the time, and the six of Justin Lofton just came over to the radio and said, I really should have went with Joey Logano that last time around because he was able to pull away. We're going to have to wait and see. It's all smiles now, but it's going to be serious business in just a few minutes. Thank you, Wendy. It's serious business right now on the racetrack as the safety crews continue to try to attend to the 60 of Patrick Sheltra and the 23 of Larry Hollenbeck, and that's why we're under a red flag condition. Those safety crews working to not only clean the racetrack up, but to attend to those drivers, and we will give you any updates as soon as we hear them. But again, they are trying to work on the 60 and the 23 right now. We'll be right back to give you more from Daytona International Speedway here on Speed.